Ba-da-ba-ba. Ba-da-ba-ba. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be sharing with you my art activities that I have done for this quarter since this quarter has almost ended. So here's my art kit. I enjoyed these activities so much that's why I wanted to share it with you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so let's get the first art activity. I'm not a really good draw. I'm not a good drawer, so uh, I'm going to cover the first part. The part. This is me and my family, my mom, myself. I really look ugly there. I don't know why I draw myself like that. And this me. I'm not wearing glasses. I forgot to put my glasses. Um, for this one, it was like pretty simple since it was like the first one. And I just draw. I just drew it. And it was pretty easy because I just needed to draw people. And uh, you can see it didn't turn well. Look at their hands. Look at the hands. It's so bad because I just don't know how to draw. I'm only good at drawing like heads or people that are immortal. And I don't know how to draw actual real life people. So. Yes, because there's not much to say about this one because it's just a simple family portrait. Okay, let's get on with the second art activity. And this is called Familia in Filipino. Okay, so... And that also means family. So, yeah, let's see, the, uh, see you in the next one. Okay, guys, I have the second one. Uh, it's called Weaving, but I'm not sure what the term is in Filipino. This is what it looks like. Under it, it has black paper. I put it there so it wouldn't like fall off. So basically how I did this was I took two pieces of paper, any color, um, and then I cut into a strip, like one inch strip. I cut it and then I left those to the side and I cut another, the other paper, this purple one. I cut it up but not, on, not like specifically. <laughs> No, I can't say the term. Like, not the whole way. I didn't cut the whole way. Just, just a little bit. I cut most of it, but there's some remaining left over. So that's where we put the pink strips and we make it do like a pattern, like a checkerboard, like this. And I, I drew some little clouds, and it has blue clouds. And this is just a cute and simple design. Of course, there's many more designs out there. You can do whatever design you want here if you decide to do this. That's what it looks like. And the back, I put black paper so you just like stick it. Because if you don't put paper, it will just like fall. And I experienced that. This is the first one I did actually, which turned into like a tail. And I wasn't really happy with it. This one. This one it turned out blue. I don't know. And in the back is just. <laughs> I just use this as scratch now. Because it's not good. So I'm happier with this one. I like this. So, you guys, stay tuned to the end because the end one is my favorite. My favorite uh, art activity that we have done. Okay. So, I we will rate this. Because I decided to rate this. This familiar drawing, I rate it. I'm not good at drawing, so. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. It deserves a 7 out of 10 for the weaving one, which I don't know the term in film. You know, this one. I give it 8 out of 10. I'm very specific with my rating. <laughs> Okay, let's get on to art activity number three. Okay, so we have art activity number three. I'm not sure what this is called, but it has, like, it's a white crayon drawing where you put watercolor on, on, on it. Look at it. It's beautiful. I enjoy it. So when I made this, I really didn't really finish it during class. I finished it after because I had some hard time applying the white, the white and the coloring part um but it was also fun because i enjoyed making the, the doodles and 
I think it turned out well. And you can see that it didn't stick. It didn't go near the white because I put a white crayon here. So wax and oil, I don't think they mix. They don't mix. They don't mix. It's not I don't think. They don't mix. That's why it turned out this. It's really pretty. It's oh, it says here harden. It's called a harden because we're for this one. It's supposed to be like a garden. Harden in English is garden. So I made a flower with the sun because plants need sun to grow. A pretty butterfly which changed colors. See, there's purple and then it became pink. The background was just like I just shaded real quickly because I didn't want to finish the blueprint. Then for the green, these are the leaves. And you can see that there's white because it didn't it didn't go on there. So my rating for this it was fun but also a little bit challenging. So I did this let me think. 9.5 out of 10. 9, 9.5 out of 10. I'm very Pacific. Pacific. With this drawing. Uh, okay. So, let me know down below what you think about this. Because I personally enjoy this. So, let's get on to our activity number three. I'm pretty sure this is the first one. Yeah, this is the first one. So let's go to art activity number four. Art activity number four, which is this cute giraffe. We found inspiration on the web. <laughs> and I picked the giraffe because giraffes are cute and I think they're easier to make. So for this, as you can see, like it's not like the typical like giraffe with the, it's not like a box type. <laughs> this one became rectangular. This the legs are triangle this is like a long triangle this one for the neck and this is also triangle and i just drew a mini triangle yes it's full of like shapes so our teacher objective one our teacher wanted it to be like shapes shapes theme so that's what i did i put boxes i put boxes for the brown i put triangles put rectangles and then I added the like, trees and then there's also some leaves which I made out of paper. So this was pretty easy but also hard because I have to be careful not to cut the whole thing. And I lost has a bit of stain left over <laughs> from this because anyway I colored the bottom here with crayons so it's easier and it doesn't waste like the Color pencils, color pencils. And it says manga hayop. I just bought that. Manga hayop, which is animals in English. So I enjoyed this. And also, if you didn't notice, look, it's eating. Even if its mouth is closed. I wonder why I did that. I think I did that. I put the leaf after I put them out. Um, but it's still cute. That's all, that's all we can think about right now. It's cute. It's really cool. Look at it. The, the, it. the leaves are falling off because it's too long. And back, and long story short, he knocked the branches over. He knocked all the leaves over because he's too tall and he only wanted to get a small leaf to eat. But I don't know if giraffes eat leaves. <laughs> there. It's so pretty. Cause you can see like it blended the uh, the grass. It blended in at least I tried to blend in it. I didn't really decide to color the background because well I think it's cute without a background. So my rating for this is 9.9 .9 out of 10. It's almost there. It's almost there. Just one more percent then it could have been 10%. So enjoyed that activity actually got cut shapes I had to cut things and it gave me just and then I learned how to carefully cut so let's move on with the next one okay for this fifth one um, 
I have a video clip of, of uh, on it, so uh, it will be inserted. And also check out the shards because I also posted it there. So it's a mananaya, which means also dancer or something. It's like dance, dance. So <laughs> it's funny because that you saw it like move around, right? So I'll show you what it looks like now. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> It's dead. It lied on the floor. I'm too tired to dance. It says this is really flopped. Okay, post it. Anyways, it's dead. But I will insert a clip so you know what it looks like when it's standing. It really looks dead because his arms are like they're they're around like you fall on the floor and his head is on the floor and his legs are on the floor too. So he's dead. So it was cool when he danced. It was cool when he danced, and it was also hard because you had to mold it. And not really mold, but you had to you have to do something it with your hands. And you couldn't. The worst part is you have to like put it into pieces, and you couldn't use scissors, so you had to use your hands. You have to carefully, just so carefully remove it. It was hard, but I did it. And it became a good man and I it became this. For that, since it's dead, I give it a six. But it was fun while it lasted when it was dancing. Was mine was supposed to be a ballerina? Okay, so the idea of this is the teacher wanted us to use our hands to form. Form. It's called aluminum foil like sculpture. And I had to carefully tear it really carefully because you couldn't use scissors which was the hard part and some of my classmates experienced it when it ripped so they had to redo theirs so i was lucky i didn't redo it because i mean it it, it turned well because but i think that i made the body too long or either i don't know there's something not right about it when it stands because when it stands it's like tall and it also gets very flimsy it falls um if you touch it if you just leave it there it can stand but it looks like this the arms are supposed to look like that there that's the arm supposed to look like that instead it fell over and its hands became flat it, it, his hands became flat and he he let us know he's dead <laughs> so i rate this a six out of ten six because it's dead but it was nice if that was still alive i would have rated it i would have rated it a bit higher but now it's dead <laughs> but i think it, i i can fix that you just need a like tape because all we need for this basically was like a bond paper uh, or any type of paper actually um, aluminum foil is the main and tape so it can stick and stand so any thoughts about it it was my first time doing like a real sculpture because uh, I don't remember doing sculptures before like with aluminum foil because okay because this is a new experience for me. This this is a new experience. So I've been chattering a lot. So let's move on to the next one. The number activity number six. Okay. So I'll give you a hint. We use these these sculpting tools. And it's also called you know, I'll show it to you first before I explain the title. So, you may be, th you may be thinking, this is sculpting tool, so this must be probably be clay. Um, it isn't clay, actually. It isn't clay. It's a fish. <laughs> it's a fish. We just made this last week. That was like our last, this is our last, act uh, this is our last art activity. This. His name is Nemo. I named him Nemo. He, this is a activity. This is a. This is an activity called a. This is called the bangus, and a bangus is a popular fish in the Philippines. And I love bangus because it tastes so good. <laughs> it's a milk fish. It's a, that's what it's called in English, milk fish. 
Here's the bonus. It's soap. <laughs> I used it to like. It was hard to look, to carve the this part because you had. So what I used for that one was like this. It's like a knife. It's like a knife. And chop it down. Kind of like make lines first, and then uh, from there you can just cut it real deep. Oh, so I made a mess. Like, but I had like a protection mat. It. It was cool. I it turned from a regular bar of soap to this. So uh, I think the thing teacher wanted to see us uh, to let us see here was 3D. It's 3D because you can hold it on both sides. Because I drew the I made the fish on both sides. See, so here's fish one. This is the first side. Fish two. So you can tell I really turned it around because they look the exact same. His, he's, I want to make him a goldfish, not a bangush, because he's orange. So I'm naming him Finding Nemo. His name is Finding Nemo. Or he'll be Simba. He's eating Simba. <laughs> so, of course, you know what my rating for this. Because this was hard, but easy. Not hard. It wasn't easy. It, it was hard. It was fun. It was messy. And it was fun. That I I had fun. I had fun and I had fun in all of the activities. It's Nemo. He's a scarier version of Nemo. Because <laughs> the eyes, the eyes don't look good. If I painted that white, um, that would kind of look like Nemo. The soap, the soap smells good though. <laughs> Nemo matches the outfit. Also, Nemo is uh, honestly, I don't know what to say about Nemo. He's cute and he's a bar of soap. So when when after teacher done, is done checking this, most probably this will turn into a bar of soap, or we can keep it. But I don't know if soap gets expired. So I keep it in this plastic bag. I knew I took you out for this So I keep them in my art kit because I don't want to lose them. So most probably after art, because next quarter we have singing music. So most probably I'll be keeping this. Here's my art kit. It still has some leftover materials. So I just put everything in there just in case I want to look back and look at me. So that's pretty much it. Nemo is a 10 out of 10. He's the highest rating among all of our activities. Activities, activities. But my activities. But my even if the the Mananaya wasn't the highest or the dancer, the dancer wasn't the highest one, but it's my also probably my favorite one because it's dead. <laughs> It looks like he has four arms. Uh, like three legs now. What happened? He had three legs now. Anyway, let's put it back in our art. Bye, Neil. Okay, that's all for today's video. So please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a new upload. Bye, guys. Till next time. Ba-da-ba-ba